Hello everyone and welcome to Subpixel's inaugural live stream. Will Crosby, are you out there, babe? Guess who else is out there? Not you, because I forgot to turn your volume up. Will Crosby, are you out there? I'm out here. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, for the second time, guess who else is out there? Not me. That's right. Absolutely nobody. And okay. nobody's going to watch the recording of this either. I had the audio turned up on the stream, so you just started talking again. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? Okay, good. At least you're checking it. Okay, so in just a little bit, we are going to be starting Forza, 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 Horizon, 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 four, 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 four. Do you think four is like the perfect fake echo number? Like you do the original, and then you do three extra. No, it it's seven, seven. I only heard that twice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a cave, Ian. <laughs> Okay, well, I believe that you are patching your, what's it called? Your Forza? Is that what it's called? Forza? Your Forza? You're so, patching? so uh, it is done patching. I am loading in right now. Um, funny, fun fact. I had been saying Forza uh, because I had heard it that way, and my brothers always made fun of me. Yeah. And then I looked it up, and it is actually pronounced Forza. Yeah, Forza. With like a T, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, th I thought people were just being funny, like funny fancy with it. Well, you know how I know that? How do you know that? I was hoping you'd uh, ask. Um, oh, because you're the... I have to be careful. We're on a stream. Because you're... <laughs> There's no editing on the stream. <laughs> because you're the best. Uh, that's close. That's very close. It's actually because uh, I watch a lot of Formula One, and there's this driver called Sebastian Vettel, and he's German, but he races for Ferrari, and when he switched over to Ferrari a couple years ago, he deliberately, how do I put this? He deliberately learned Italian so that he would fit in with his new team better and show that he was <laughs> dedicated to them. That's awesome. And so every time he wins a race, he comes over the radio and he says, Grazie, grazie, forza Ferrari, forza arriva bene, forza forza. And he just screams it over and over again. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, let me see what I have to do. Okay. Um, People should be seeing the game now. And oh, I see it. Audio. Oh, oh, that's look great. That. Look at that. Oh, wow. Ian, you figured it out. Oh, yes, I'll tell you out. All right, so let's, um, as we, oh, uh... Yeah, we have two people watching right now. Is that you and... Do I count? <laughs> I think so. Okay, oh, I think I need to adjust this volume a little bit. Just drop it down. Yep, just show my desktop there. Yep, okay. So I, I just want to quickly praise Xbox Game Pass here, because without it, I would not be playing this game. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Like, I'm not a huge racing game person. Um, I know you are. But, like, I would not play this game without that. And now, like, being someone who has played it... And, like, I haven't even gotten to the main game yet. But I would probably... If someone was like, hey, you want to spend, like, 60 bucks on this? I'd probably be like... Like, if there weren't other games I was playing right now, definitely. Yeah. It's very chill. Very fun. Did you play uh, Forza Horizon 3? Uh, a, a little bit. Not a ton. Okay. But uh, I don't know why... I'm going to change the batteries of my controller. Because my right trigger is not <gasps> vibrating. Oh, really? I was having that problem, too. Well, actually, I just I switched the game and it wouldn't recognize my on controller, so I had to restart it. Weird. I'm playing on my Xbox right now. Oh. Um, oh. Wow. You probably think you're fancy. So mm. I I had a... I don't want to say a similar experience, but I played Forza Horizon 3. That was my first Horizon game. I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad I paid... Uh, actually, I think I only paid like 40, $48 dues um, because it was an Australian game. It takes place in Australia, so you only have to pay an Australian dollar dues. 
and uh, I was part of Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked. You know what I like about streams is that I can go on these really long tangents because they're not going to be edited out, and we got to stretch <laughs> for time anyways. Um, so shout hey, out we, got, we have three watching now. <gasps> so shout out to Gamers uh, Club Unlocked. Um, they just canceled it a couple months ago, so rest in peace because it was awesome. But anyways, I got the game for like $48, and I really enjoyed it. And then I decided for this one I was just going to go with Game Pass and maybe save some money in the pocket for DLC. But, uh, Will, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too happy about this game. And I need you to help me figure out why. Okay, well, we'll figure it out together. I see you're in winter right now. I'm in summer because I'm in the... Uh, yeah. Uh, um, also, uh, from Blue Waters 956, mm -hmm. uh, Hi, Will and Ian... Oh, hi, Blue Waters. Sounds like, sounds like an incredibly um, beautiful person. Oh, uh, perhaps. Love him. Yeah. I love this person a lot, actually. Um, uh, it is, in fact, my girlfriend. So. Oh. You know, I was going to put money down on mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. I don't love my mom. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Okay. okay. All right. Look, my number one complaint with this game, it's winter. And this lake is not frozen. What? I thought that was the whole thing. They have a giant lake that's frozen, but this one's not. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's stupid. Okay, um, I'm setting up an event here, and this guy is... So wait. my choice for Avatar, I picked the blanket white guy. But it was between blanket white guy and girl who looks just like Abby Russell from Giant Bomb. Wait, is that... Was... Um... I'm going to show you my character, and then I need you to tell me. If that's blanket white guy. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I have to wait for the stream <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> okay, well, you're going to have to wait even longer because I need to get there. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to fast travel to the festival so I can show you my character. That's The, the menu systems in this game are kind of wonky, but... Okay, there I hate is. that it loads you in, mm -hmm. and then you have to hit B to start the game. Like, you have to back out of that menu? Wait. What? So when I first hit A on the game, it brings yeah. me to a menu that's like my gr car garage. And then oh, you hit yes. B, and it makes your car appear. What? No, you um, gotta hit you got to hit B twice, because it's like your home menu. And then it takes you to, like, your generic menu. And then it takes you to the game. Have you noticed that? When yeah. When it loads okay. you your house? Um, your... Uh, Basic white guy is my basic white guy. Yes. Yes. Hundred percent. You know what? While we're just doing this, I'm gonna show you my character real quick. Um let me know what you think. Also, um Oh thanks. crap. I wasn't paying attention, I'm supposed to be racing. <laughs> okay, well then don't look. Uh also uh Will, how do you feel about drinking and driving? Are you drinking, Ian? <laughs> I got home late. I was going to make a G&T to have. Uh, oh, yes. G&T is so good. But I um, I wanted to rush up here and get started. Um, crap, what was, what was I going to say? Uh, I had a little bit of wine at uh, Shabbos dinner tonight. Um, I met my, uh, my girlfriend's Hungarian cousins. Um, and this guy, who is a rabbi of a synagogue in Hungary... Mm -hmm. It was one of the funny, funniest guys I've ever talked <laughs> with. He was like, he's like, there were like three cakes. And he's like, listen, Will, one of them's poisoned. One is terrible. And the third one is awful. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> and you must eat from all of them. Like, Welcome, to <laughs> Welcome to Judaism. Welcome to Judaism. Was this boy. Fear Factor? <laughs> yes. Fear Factor Judaism. <laughs> oh, boy. Who, who, would, who, would, who would play Joe Rogan on Fear Factor Judaism? Um, ooh. Hmm. There's a, somewhat... There's so many answers, and 99% <laughs> of them are inappropriate. That's true. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, all right, wait, I'm going to think. Yeah, I think it's John Lovitz. Ah, oh, see, I was going to say John Lovitz. Oh, yeah, sure you were. <laughs> My uh, a guy I work with just won on the hundred thousand hundred thousand dollar pyramid. Do you know that show? 
Wait, what does that have to do with John Lovitz? He hosts it. Wait, you watch primetime television? No, I just know that because he won, and then I saw oh. a video of him with John Lovitz. And I we, thought, man, John Lovitz oh. hosts the show? You got really close there to me just being forced <laughs> to negatively judge you for watching primetime Although, television. John, John Lovitz does the voice of, uh... oh, I missed that? Yeah, you did. John Lovitz does the voice of the radio in Brave Little Toaster. <gasps> I didn't know that. I should probably rewatch that movie. My so, it's there was one on Netflix, and it's like Brave Little Toaster goes to something. So yeah. my girlfriend and I start watching it. And I was like, this I, I don't remember any of this. It's like it's like it doesn't look that good and everything. It was one of the crappy sequels. Oh okay. So I then had to go to YouTube. Just someone uploaded it. So I just we just watched it on YouTube. <laughs> Man, that uh, movie is still extremely scary, um, but extremely good. Okay, I finished here. Fourth place. Okay, I'm just messing around with this. I can't tell if if I'm just bad at this danger Ooh, sign. I, I, if I have the wrong you, car. Yeah. Excuse me. In this game, I beat you. Excuse me. Okay. Current favorite part of this game? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Karen said Mel Gibson should host. Mel. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm assuming that's what she means, unless she means the basic like, white guy is Mel wait, Gibson. But I like that he's also like somewhat of a contestant, because basically this is his penance for all his bad behavior, and if he messes <laughs> it up, then he'll finally be kicked out of Hollywood. I might be reading this chat wrong. I think she's saying Mel Gibson was the basic white guy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, because you're seeing the stream on a minute delay, but our viewers are seeing it on a 10-minute delay. Got it. Yeah. I understand now. Um, I The thing I like about this game is they... So I drive a Ford Focus 2016, and they have the 2017 model, and oh. the interior is exactly the same. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like I, I don't have an RS. I have a, a 1990 Miata, and the first car I bought was the 94 Miata. Which, for some reason, they have the hardtop on, even though it's a convertible. So it basically just does not look like a convertible at all in this game, and you can't take it off. Oh, you know what? Uh, technical note. When we do some stuff that's going to require you to look at my screen, like customizing my character and stuff, because we can have some fun in there, I need to uh, switch the YouTube stream to, like, super low latency. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and uh, I, a quick update here from the uh, Karen. Uh, I'm getting her in my ear. She says, yes, Mel Gibson should host Fear Factor. Ian was ah, correct. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Oh, okay. All right, maybe I'll... I'll do it this time. I don't even know what I'm aiming for with this. I like this truck you're driving. It's pretty great, isn't it? It's, it's very a, cool. I think it's called an Unamog. It's a Mercedes. So wait, you, you can customize your car after... Or your car. Your character after you... um. Take your time. Pick, Sound it out. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to drive and talk at the same time. Also, wow. I just realized I'm not in a race. <laughs> so you're just like, <laughs> oh, I've really got to make this turn. Oh. Um, um, yes. I don't remember what I was going to It's say. a little weird in the menu because you have to look at like a very tiny thumbnail and then judge if you want the, the livery based off of that. But Oh, you mean your character, not your car. Yes, you can. Um, okay. But you can't change anything about the actual person. You can just change everything they wear, uh, but it's all was... un it's all locked behind the spinner wheel. So, uh... and you start with almost nothing. So, yeah. We should uh, design a subpixel livery. I was thinking about that, but the interface is still awful even on a PC. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, I missed it. Actually, I should probably look up how people are getting like anime images in here and stuff. I, yeah, I want to do a Dragon Ball Z car. I need to catch up yes. with that show. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We just started the final chapters, which are like episode 98 onwards. I so would... Good. I don't think my girlfriend will watch Dragon Ball Z Kai with me. Maybe she would. But uh, I just I just haven't oh, had let's time. Let's throw it to Karen. 
Uh, she did say, is that truck the largest vehicle in the game? I I think it is. I think it may be. Can I, how do I, can I change my car before a race? It is the largest official Domino's delivery vehicle, though. Nice. Is that what you have on there? Oh, you do. <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed that. I was tr I've been, like, for the past 45 minutes, I've been trying to read what's on the back of that truck. 30 minutes delivery. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's one of the cool parts about the Forza series are the people who put those really, really stupid liveries. Yeah. Oh, I hate God. the word livery. I'm just going to put that out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes my, me either think of delivery, but like baby. Yeah. Duh. Livery. And then, and then it also makes me think of liver. <gasps> you know what? If we were smarter while we were talking about this livery, and how it sounds like delivery and 30 minutes delivery. We would have made a pun three minutes ago. Oh, crap. I hit a tree. Look, I know the pun was bad, but if I could get some fake laugh for the screen, stream, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't think you can blame the stream for that delay. <laughs> no, that was a... Uh, what are you mm -hmm. talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the Unamaga. Got it in a, a, a spin of the fortune wheel. Uh, I just like it because it fortune looks ridiculous. Fortune wheel. Oop. Fortune wheel. So you haven't played much of this game, I'm guessing, because you're not past the tutorial yet. Is that right? Um, no. I would uh, say that I was just not doing the tutorial things. I was just driving around. Oh, because you were like treating it like it was the full game even though it wasn't quite there yet well so i knew i knew i was in the tutorial area um although now that i think about it like if you smash having fun if you smash signs in that tutorial time frame it probably still counts towards the full yeah. game because it's not really an area true huh. i didn't think about that yeah man i am in last place I really botched the start of this race while I was talking to you, and then I didn't rewind, so I kind of like... Ugh. What have you done? Is it me, or does it just say go? Like, I never know when to... Yes, but that's one of the things that I love about this game, because it's not just like, hey, let's do a full five-second countdown, you know? Do you just hold the gas when the race is starting? Yeah, like, as soon as, it, as, soon as you hit race start, then I just... Oh! That is not the right orientation to hit that danger sign. Um, yeah, you know how you, like, you load into the race and then you hit A to start? Yeah. It still gives you like three seconds. It just doesn't count it down. Okay, maybe I'll start doing that. Wait, I think I just like what? hit start race and then I forget. What's going on over here? Or my existence is. Why are there two guys just hanging out in a barn in the middle of the woods? Just two guys, and we're having a good time. It's just KWM 1221 and Y of the Ham. What? Oh, he's in appeal. Yo, his car is so tiny compared next to mine. <laughs> you see his? Oh, my God. You could put, like, five of those in the back. Oh, the thing is tiny. I know. All right, let's see if I can get this danger sign properly. So I'm curious to see how this multiplayer, how well it's actually going to work out with you and I in a convoy or whatever they call it, because I have tried to play some of these events multiplayer, and they just do... 99% of them, nobody joins. So it just kicks you back to single player. And the other part of it is it just feels like the AI is super... The AI difficulty is super wonky, mm -hmm. especially in PvP. So I'm curious to kind of see how this actually works, you know? Yeah. I know. You, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I just qualified for autumn. Is now, I have, now I have a home? Oh, wait a minute. How many seasons have you gone through? Uh, This will be autumn. Do I have to go through every season? Yes. You haven't done it yet? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Will. It's gonna take like four hours. Yeah, it does take about. You should just. 
blast through it as quick as you can. Just That's go to what the. I'm doing. Oh, but you've got to get influence. Wait, so you really haven't? How many times have you switched seasons? Um. Well, in that intro sequence, you you go through a couple seasons. Oh yeah, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> so I'm in su I'm in summer right now. I'm about to. I'm assuming hit autumn. Oh my god. Great. Oh my god, you actually have like no joke about four hours. No. I'm why? not even kidding you. I just want to play with you. I, I just want to play with you too. <laughs> Shh, don't tell Karen. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Just you, me, and Rihanna Rouge. Oh my god, that is... Ooh boy, spoiler alert, that's going to be a real good one. Wait, is Force... <laughs> is Force... I gave that to Jake to edit, and I just said, you're going to need the mosaic tool. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have was... not heard back. I was kind of hoping he would just come up with something like a big blocky image to just put on <laughs> them so they kind of look like, you know, they're wearing a cardboard box or something. I made sure I um, I synced it all so he wouldn't have to do it and risk spoiling it. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good thinking. Oh, apparently Forzathon is happening. I should probably message him so, uh, so he knows that it's for this Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we probably should. Um, so for everybody else uh, that's listening, remember, nobody is. Uh, be very excited. A very, very weird episode of Scanlines this Thursday. Yes, incredibly oh, weird. Wow, it's just, it's going to be something special. Very All right, special. so let's let's talk about this game. Will, you're, you're liking it so far, right? Because kind of like the free roam aspect and all of that. I like driving across fields and smashing these walls. Yeah. Yeah, Feels I agree with good. you. That's what, that's what felt really great about Forza Horizon 3 was it was... It was as much about the travel between the races as it was the races themselves. Okay. Um, yeah. I f yeah, I feel like it's, like, rather than the, uh, like, old burnout style of, like, or any racing game, I guess, just mm -hmm. you're going through a campaign, next race, next race, you're, like, driving to the next race. Yeah, exactly. So and it gives you plenty of time to just muck about. Okay. Yeah, and it gives you time to explore the world. It's like, it's the same... Um, Burnout Paradise? Yeah, and also, like, it's weird because, like, sometimes you would fast travel, but you don't feel the need to because you go so fast. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's fun to just traverse. Um... But so here's the thing. That's that's great. That's fun and all. But that this game is it feels almost identical to Forza Horizon 3. In a weird way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I may be stuck. I'm not going to give up though. Never give up. Never surrender. I'm going to wear all white. Is that a political statement? You know, it's not. It's a comedic statement. Are you sure about that, though? I mean... <laughs> oh. oh, those are the worst glasses ever. <gasps> Clip-on mustache? What? Yes. Yes. This game's so stupid. Whoa. Oh, I think I got unstuck, maybe. What's the two-step? Oh, crap. I they do it. have some pretty good dances. Look, look at the, uh, the thumbs-up dance. I don't want any of this. You can dab. Oh, wow. It's just like Fortnite. Thumbs down? Man, it's just like Destiny. What was the first game to do... Dabbing? <laughs> yes. No, what was the first game to do, like, emotes... Like, proper emotes, like they are now. Okay, we can figure that out. It was not Destiny... I feel like it wasn't Destiny... Well, let's just let's just start naming games of whichever one is oldest. So, Destiny 1 had it. Yeah. Um, oh, I got an achievement. Wait, how could I hear... Oh, it's on my computer, that's why. What, what other games have had emotes? 
Um, Destiny. You're talking about like like full animation. Animation. Full animation emotes. Okay. Um. Hmm. There's got to be like wow. Wow has them, right? Yeah, wow has them. Because you type like slash dance and stuff. You're right. There's a slash dance in a while. Okay, so that brings us back to 2004. What about like EverQuest? Do you think they had them? Probably. Hmm. Also, this game saying "Hey Will" for the first time without ever asking me my, what my name was. Yes, I loved Absolutely that. Absolutely terrifying. I loved it. It was great because I remember in three, I don't think they had Ian, and you had to pick from a list. Yeah, I remember doing Master Chief. And then I finally switched it to, like, Dungeon Master or something. Okay, I gotta pick a new car. Let's see. Oh, what I crashed. What do I want to drive? Uh, was that Peel the smallest car? Yes. Okay. This one? Um, I'm gonna get in the car, and then we're gonna wait for the stream delay, and then you're gonna look at it. Okay. We I'm blasting through autumn. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here. Drink my beer until you see it. Hey Will, can you hear this through the microphone? Yes, I can very much. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that, that does transfer. That is a tiny little car. Kinder egg. Yeah. That's adorable. I love illegal in the United States. I just, I really like, I think even the Forza Mainline games do this and almost encourage it in a way, which is just taking weird cars or just normal cars and then just upgrading them to a ridiculous level. <laughs> the thing is adorable. I know. And it's going so fast. Okay, let's see if I can climb that. Okay, I'll climb that. So I'm waiting for this, um, excuse me, this Forzathon event to start. So this is a cool concept. Basically once on the hour, every hour, this uh, giant blimp shows up in the air and everybody in the region is encouraged to come to it, to this area. And then they basically have three rounds of events, things like their normal events, like danger signs or speed traps. But... Mm -hmm everybody is trying to do them together and there's like a collective goal so like let's say the speed trap collective goal is a hundred thousand miles per hour so every time you go through it you're whatever you got let's say 100 miles per hour gets added to the total and i think there's gotcha. 15 minutes total so everybody is trying to complete the goals and i think if you complete three goals at three separate events then you get a whole bunch of force of thumb points which get used for special items and stuff but it's just a cool thing because it pops up on your HUD, and it's like, you have five minutes to get to this area, and everybody's racing. So you can see there's a bunch of other multiplayer people on my map, and they're all in their cars. Like, this guy has, like, a, a Nian cat? Nian cat? I don't know how to pronounce that on his I Ferrari. think it's Nian. Or, no, it's a Lambo. Like, it's like Cyan, the color. Nian. Nian cat. And he's playing uh, Rock and Roll Horn. I can't hear my game because it's on my Xbox. I was streaming it to my PC, but I, I've never been impressed with the quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have that issue, too. Um, I had a friend who used to do that for Destiny, and I was always like, what? I think I did that for Forza Horizon 3 because the port of Horizon 3 was awful and ran really bad even on my, like, GTX 770. So I basically had to stream it from my Xbox in order to play it on my PC. That's annoying. And it, I, it, um, it frustrated me so much that one day I, while I was playing Horizon 3, I just left my apartment and I went and dropped a bunch of money on a GTX 1080 and installed that. That's how badly the game ran that it, <laughs> that it <laughs> aggravated me into buying a new graphics card. I have been trying to decide if my... Oops, messed up. If my Black Friday purchase this year will be an Xbox One X or uh, -huh. uh 1080. Oh yeah. 1080. 1080 is good. I I saw a 1080 for like 450 the other day. 
But I play so much more on my Xbox now. Yeah. Like if I if I'm playing a graphics heavy video game, I like I don't know, I use my computer so much for like I want to play computer games on my computer if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like if I'm going to play like Forza, I'm going to play it on my Xbox. I'm sorry, could you say that with a T? Forza. Thank you. Thank you. Fortnite. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm going to play that. I'm going to use a controller on my Xbox because I haven't my eyes have not seen the glory of the Lord. Yes, of 1080 4K Ultra like on a 4K monitor, so I'm like not crazy about it right now. Yeah. Um I don't know. It's so weird. I grew up a console kid who played actually I grew up a hybrid console PC. Okay. And then I went like in middle school to high school I went very PC. Uh um, okay. politically correct. Got it. Yeah, I, I was waiting for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then like sometime after college um when I actually got into Destiny 1 like 3 years ago my friends like, "Oh, just get an Xbox." And like I've, and then I started getting achievements again, and that's what was like. My brain oh, now yeah. thinks in what can I buy to get achievements. To get achieve- yeah. Oh my gosh, my brother is driving the car in front of me. Fake oh, drive a car, yeah. brother. And he, we were neck and neck, and his car pulls away, and I'm like, oh weird, and whips back and slams into me. <laughs> like what the heck, AI? <laughs> So I was thinking about the Xbox One X I was thinking about just because uh, Red Dead Redemption looks awesome. And I know I'm going to play a lot of it. Thing. So yeah. I'm, I'm, the other thing I'm going to do for Red Dead Redemption is um, I'm going to get this Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD. Yeah. It's an external. And I'm going to install Destiny 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2 on it. Yeah. Because yeah. that I've heard it increases the load times or decreases the load times like thirty to forty percent. That's good. I, That's good. I'm into that. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to see how red. The other things I don't have a 4K TV, so I don't feel like the One X is not going to be a huge improvement for me. So yeah, let's see other things. I don't know. I don't have a 4K TV either. I'm going to get one next year, but I don't need one this year. So it's uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think okay. I'm going to, like, I live in an, uh, not apart. I live in a house with a bunch of roommates. So I think once I have my own apartment with, like, like a living room that is just my stuff, that's yeah. when I'll get, like, a 4K TV or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this map is huge. I know, it is. It is pretty big. Uh, well, that's my other complaint, though, is that it feels very very similar to forza horizon 3 in that it's like ocean on the east side big city in the northeast uh lake slash like rural area on the west this just it this doesn't feel like a full-blown sequel to me it's weird can is there any way to no okay Oh god, this tiny car is so hard to control, but it's awesome. New car's been added to my garage. Really? What Ford F one fifty Raptor. Yeah. Um, no, I was gonna ask, can you just pick a race and do it, or do you have to drive to it? Oh, you have to drive to it, unless you fast travel to a nearby location, but Okay. Like, right now, that would be great, because I just want to get stuff done. I wonder if there's a way to skip the tutorial. You should look that up. I doubt it. Yeah, because it's not even really a tutorial. It's... It it feels like, um... It kind of feels like... Destiny. In that it's just a series of missions... To feed you into the main game. Um, I know people still bring that up, uh, and I'm like, I I did my first three, I just did all my characters, like the first two months before Osiris came out. Uh huh. So I like, I don't remember those early missions at all. Oh yeah, yeah. 
But it was probably the same amount of time, right? Like four or five hours? Yeah. I think it's about I would, right. Uh, mm, yeah, I guess so. Well, how many missions are there? There's ten missions. Each mission is, what, 10, 15 minutes. That's 100, 150 minutes. So it's more like two, two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, you're not playing, uh, what should call it? Hey, take your time. Forsaken? Uh, no, because that $40 price tag is too much for me. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm having a really good time for it. Uh, it. it it's, it is drastically improved. Gambit sounds like fun. Yeah, Gambit is very fun. But I'm I just, enjoying it. I, I think I'll eventually pick it up when um, when it's cheaper. And I can... I don't have much to do. You know? Yeah, there's so much to do in that game. But I don't it's really like, have a, a main group to go with either, so... Yeah, it's like my third job. <laughs> I'm glad they added more stuff for like weekly and daily challenges, though. Dude, there, I, there's so much. It's incredible. Because before that was that was so annoying. Oh yeah, I stopped playing for a good chunk. Like, and now I am checking in like every morning before work. I'm playing. Wow. And it's it's also annoying because I think I have like one more mission in Metal Gear Solid Four before I'm done with it. <laughs> and I've been putting that off. I bought the new Spider-Man when I was somewhat inebriated. It's um, pretty good. It's pretty good. And I haven't touched that too much. I like the thing that's going to make me put Destiny down that I'm worried about is Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'm trying to get all this stuff done now. Yeah. Because uh, I know my friends um, are going to be like, why are you playing that? Because it's better. And I'm like, uh, it's two weeks away, away, by the way. Oh, I know. Comes out on a payday. I'm very excited about that. I got very excited today because I realized two things in quick succession when I was at work. And it was number one, two weeks to Red Dead. Number two, I was wearing my cowboy boots when I realized that. Oh, that's adorable. Do you wore you cowboy know. boots to work? Yeah, man, I love my cowboy boots. They're good. I bought them it's kind of as like a, I've always wanted these, but I know I'll only wear them once. And now I wear them like two, three times a week. They're great. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, where am I? Now that I'm like a grown adult, quotations, mm -hmm. um, I need to like start doing more like fashion-y. Not fashion in the sense of like, but I need to like actually go to the store and buy clothes that like fit me and like yeah. try to look like right now I wear jeans and a t-shirt all the time. Which isn't bad, but it's like you yeah. got to get the right jeans. And I, I do work in, like, production, so at least I fit in. Yeah, that's true. But, uh... Yeah, I know what you mean. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I done picked it up, boy. I realize I haven't seen what you've been doing for a while, because I'm on a different tab. Uh, I did uh, Force a which was kind of fun, but it's, it's, it's also kind of lame. It's just do these three events over and over again. Hey, Colton R Rybel is here. <gasps> Hi, Colton. Uh, that's the guy I responded uh, funny to him. He oh, asked where I we got that. our games, and I said we only adopt from the local game shelter. Okay, but we got to ask the question. Colton, bro, are you somebody that we should know in real life? <laughs> no. He said, I found this channel a month or two ago. I really love your content. Well, okay, thank you. <laughs> Mom, you really don't have to lie. Okay, I know it's Mom. you. <laughs> oh, we enjoy making it. Thanks, buddy. You're uh, literally our only viewer, so <laughs> thanks for joining. <laughs> There's also that... Uh, uh, who's that? There's another Blue? guy who, who comments fairly regularly, like Arcade something. Arcade Fire. That's Arcade Fire. I'm he sorry, was I apologize good. for that. Okay, uh, let's crap. see. What I, whoa, what did I just do? Oh, I'm in a mission. I keep forgetting. <laughs> that you're in. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, that's great. Will, we got to go to sleep sometime tonight, and we're not doing that till you finish the four-hour tutorial. <laughs> I know. 
this stream just got a whole lot longer. Just got a whole lot longer. Ooh, I'm driving a same, uh, a cool old car. Oh boy. Oh, the, okay. So I, I will admit one of the things that made me not like this game, um, and it, it kind of colored my opinion of it in a way, um, is that playing it on PC, it would crash every time I launched it until a patch two days ago. Um, so it was literally unplayable on my computer. And there was no communication on the tech support forums, except for people posting, like, weird solutions that worked for them that did not work for me. Until they updated it. The update, the release notes for the update didn't even mention a crash. And yet, somehow it fixed the crash. Oh, but it only fixed the crash by updating my copy and then reinstalling my entire copy, which took, you know, four or five hours because it's 60 gigs. And then it was well, working. Yeah, I that's the, that's the reason I've never bought Nier Automata on my PC because yeah. it's still like workarounds, which it actually came out on Xbox One, so I'll probably pick that up eventually. Um, to answer your question, Colton, uh, it's not a four-hour tutorial. They do an intro thing, and then you have to like you're doing missions in each season, and then after you do all four seasons, it like puts you into the like quote unquote destiny shared world. Um, yeah. It's basically like you, you, yeah, your XP, they have influence, which is your version of XP, and you get that for finishing events or doing things in free roam. And so they're like, hey, check it out, it's spring, and you're going to be here until you gain this, this amount of influence. And then once you do, they kick you over to the next season, and you have another checkpoint of XP to hit. And once you go through all four seasons, then it dumps you in the main game with multiplayer. So the issue yeah. is that's where Will is right now is going through those four seasons at the beginning of the game. Also, I just assume I can't join your game. Do you want to try it? Let me finish this mission, and then I'll try it. Man, we have to try it now and look like idiots when it works. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is terribly boring content because I am literally just doing the same speed (laughs) trap over and over again for ten minutes in a row. But I'm so close to getting it. I do like, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but some of these speed traps and stuff are almost like puzzles in a way, in that you have to figure out for your car and then for the road, like which the best angle to come at it from. Does that make sense? Wait, do this again? I think I heard you right, but explain it again. Okay, so like the speed traps, which are just the speed cameras, it's like you get there, but it doesn't it doesn't it records your speed no matter whether you are passing through one direction versus the other. Oh. So, so when you get there, like one of the first things you gotta do is like figure out, okay, what's the optimal direction? You know? Is it east to west or is it west to east? Okay, is it should I take this side road and then and then slide onto the main road with enough speed to hit it? Ooh baby. You know, how far back do I need to go? in order to get enough speed to come at it properly. And then you start to like, you're like, okay, this is the direction I need to go, but like, how am I supposed to take this turn? It tells me to slow down, but what if I don't break and I just slide through it? You know, things like that. Okay. I just won a 512TR Ferrari. Ooh. This game does a lot better job than, than Horizon 3 of throwing a lot of credits and a lot of cars at you. All the time. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Like, there's definitely improvements over Forza Horizon 3. It just feels like too much of the same. And, (coughs) I don't know, it just doesn't really improve on a lot of the core stuff. Like, the racing still doesn't feel good. Have you played uh, Gran Turismo Sport or any of the Gran Turismo series, Will? No. So... I got Gran Turismo Sport recently, and I've been playing that with the racing wheel and pedals. And it feels really good, but especially the dirt racing, because the dirt racing, you literally have to turn, like, you have to turn, like, 10 seconds early for a turn in order to start sliding and line up properly for a given turn. So it really feels like you are on slippery dirt, and if you and you're kind of deliberately sliding to make these turns faster. But then in this game, when you're dirt racing, it doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels like slightly slippery pavement. How weird. 
Yeah, and even in even in the Forza Mainline series, which it tends to try and be a little bit more realistic, it still just doesn't feel like good dirt racing. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's just uh, it's kind of disappointing, especially since um I have not tried using a wheel with this game, but I tried it with Forza Horizon 3, and it's one of those games where you can tell it's made for a gamepad, and trying anything else on it just does not work. Like, it Aww. feels way too floaty, and the controls are... It's, you can't get the same level of precision, even though you're on technically, like, a better controller. Right. It's still just counting the inputs Yeah. the same, rather than adding new inputs. Yeah. It was so... It was weird because it literally felt like I... I could not drive the car straight. Because if I tried to steer slightly to the right or left, the car would just spin out. And I could not dial it into the right sensitivity. And um, I haven't tried it with this game yet, which admittedly may be better. But how similar it is to Forza Horizon 3 makes me not want to dig my wheels, my wheel and pedal out and get that set up just to have it be exactly the same in terms of how it supports the pedals and the wheels. Yeah. So, but the, I mean, it's good. It's a good controller game. Did you play uh, Burnout Paradise? Uh, yes. Uh, not not the recent uh, HD affied one, but back when it first came out. Is this giving you like Paradise vibes? I never really played Paradise. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I like. I didn't drive around. Oh, well, I guess I did, but like I just did like crash mode and stuff. Like. Paradise was very much about the destination versus this game. I'm having a lot of fun just driving. Yeah. Um, I played a lot of Re uh, Burnout Revenge. It was my first 360 game. And I really liked that one. That one had Dance Dance by... Uh, is it Fallout Boy? I don't know who sings Dance Dance. You know, like, Dance Dance! Fallout Boy uh, I'm sorry, could you sing a couple more bars? <laughs> I don't know. Colton probably knows. <laughs> uh, he said uh, something else here. Do you I like hope somebody mods on your car for gamers into this game one day. <laughs> oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah. That was... So we're actually working on the next Subpixel Inc. Um, episode yes. to yeah. bring our cars for game errs uh -huh. to a whole new location where perhaps gravity is different and we'll see how it could possibly perform there uh -huh. um, it should be good it should be real good which um in yes sir i i just had actually a really great idea i'm not going to say on stream um, um do you want to discord chat it to me and then I'll but i might it. I'll, I might Discord chat it to you because that's actually it's a pretty good idea, and I don't want to forget it. But we're uh, we are working on the next thing uh, because of our lives. It's hard to find a time to record things. Um, I but we're working on it. What were you saying? Ian? Um, sorry, I just um just have this really weird urge to ask you where my phone is because I could have sworn it was sitting on my belly. And it's not there anymore. <laughs> yes. Well, seeing as we are very far apart from each other, I do not know where your phone is. I still don't know where it is. <laughs> What'd you do with it? Well, phone. Phone? Uh, I'm glad you're excited for uh, it. It's you know going to be I, very... I bet my girlfriend took it. I bet she did, too. Um, I... Okay, yep, just making a lot of mic noise for everybody. Just moving the mic Sorry. around. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, that is me. That's what I mean. Oh. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, viewer request. Uh, Colton, what are we doing next? What do you want me to do? What type of event? What do you want to see? Ian, what was the program? What did we test the car in? Um, oh, it was uh, Beam and G Drive. Oh, thank you. Yes. Ooh, look at this. Time limited danger sign. Let's see. I do like that the seasons change in this. Because uh, in Forza Horizon 3, the winter 
season or like the winter area was a DLC. But it actually we, makes oh, a huge difference. You know, I remember seeing that. Because it was always like, hey, you should buy the DLC. And I'm like, no, I got this game for free. Yeah. But it, it does make a huge difference. Yeah, just driving around on this snow and like... Like I was in a supercar just a couple minutes ago and I was doing fine because I was on paved asphalt. Whose but, fault? Um... Yeah, so I was on paved asphalt, um, and then I went on this road, and I was lost like all grip and was sliding around, and I slowed down and I looked at it, and the road was icy. Like, it didn't have any snow on it, but it had a sheen of ice on it. Oh, jeez. And so my supercar was basically useless, and that was cool. Yeah. That you can feel that change in traction. Um, Ian, can you mm -hmm. hit your start and go to home and click invite friends and see if you can invite me? Start. Home. You are now in a convoy. Only the convoy I think Gibson has joined the convoy. Remember, oh, you joined my convoy. <gasps> Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm here. But wait, I'm not in winter. I'm in autumn. <gasps> Yay! Hey! Okay. Uh, I gotta find you. Where are you at? Okay, wait, let me... Where... Okay, wait, where... Actually, I don't know where you are. I just... I'm um, told you to... Oh no! Wait, I see. Combo. Nope, I see OBS tank. But where where are you on the map? I just sent you. It's just. It asked me to send you an invite. Oh wait. Yeah, we're we're in a convoy, right on the top right. Yeah, here you should be getting something. Okay, I'm waiting. Still waiting. I don't know. I don't know. I I I just said hit, hit convoy. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, now okay. it says waiting for players. Convoy event. I'm joining the event. Woohoo! We're together! Okay, wait. What What car should I... I'll do the Quattro. I like the Quattro. Allocating server. Uh... <laughs> you scared Colton, you jerk. <laughs> uh, to be very real, he scared me too. I had no idea. I was either expecting him to have joined me... Or he found his phone in his belly. <laughs> <laughs> my, um, okay, I may or may not be checking my belly right now to see if it you're like that in guy it. in The Dark Knight who's like, my stomach hurts. <laughs> and then they like pull his shirt up, and he has a the <laughs> cell phone lights up, and then the police police place explodes. <laughs> that was a good reference. Oh my god, I just remembered. I just remembered when I saw Dark Knight Rises. Um on like opening weekend or whatever and uh at the end of the movie when joseph gordon levitt's like you should uh you should go by my middle name it's robin and this big like comic book nerd in the front row was just like oh my god it's robin <laughs> <laughs> and i laughed so loudly at him because by that <laughs> point i had like realized the movie was real bad <laughs> oh, oh so boy. good Oh, that movie is just something. Great. Dark Knight Rises, really? Oh, Dark Knight Rises. Sorry, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody no. get this hothead out of here. I thought I, I thought you meant Dark Knight. No, Dark Knight's good. It's just a little long, but it's good. Oh, yeah. I, I'll agree with that. Okay, so um, I think the way this works is that we're on a team. And we get points for finishing ahead of the other team. Okay. And then the whole team's points are combined. Uh, uh, just so everyone knows, mm -hmm. uh, he is Think Gibson. I am Hunt270. Yes, thank you. That is correct. Uh, putting on my official stream voice to say we are having fun now. <laughs> uh, I will take uh, usernames of people whose 
streams don't get any viewers for 1100. <laughs> I just remembered that my mom hates Alex Trebek because she says he acts like he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Of course he knows everything. It's just, it's, I'm like, oh my god. My favorite is when the contestants talk too much. And you can clearly oh, see yeah. he wants to get on with it. He just, this pain slowly creeps into his face. And yet somehow his face doesn't move. <laughs> the best was those video game things that mm -hmm. uh, Matt Rory posted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was dying. Ugh. I was done. <gasps> okay, I think we're doing all right, right? I think we're doing okay. I think so. I'm right on your butt. I know. Ow! Ah. Oh, I hit wall! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm assuming I can't rewind with you here. Uh, I think you can, but it doesn't actually rewind. It just puts you in a new place. I would not try it. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to. Like, it rewinds your position, but not time. I'm so glad that you can, like, run these checkpoint things over. <laughs> yeah. Because about 90% of the time, that's how I go through them. Yep. We do have one views. I'm so excited. Hooray! Oh. Yeah, I think this is fun. We may do this more often for, like, the new release games that we're playing together that it doesn't really make sense to make content for, you know? Yeah. Definitely, um, like, Red Dead. Even just when we're just hanging out playing games together. Yeah. I want to do a Factorio stream. Yeah. Um... Like, maybe for, like, um, uh, what's it called? Extra Life? Do, like, a... Ooh, yeah, we could do that. A couple streams. A uh, couple stream? A couple's stream, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... Uh, oh, man, I, I lose my train of thought so easily. Because I'm trying to look at your screen, I'm trying to read comments, and I'm trying to drive in a race at the same time. Oh my god, Colt and Splatoon 2 is so good. Oh, uh, I never got into Splatoon. Um, that's because you're, uh, whoop, can't use profanity on this stream. Trying not to. Um, so just imagine what I would have said there. <laughs> I'm crying. Splatoon's good, man. Especially the single player's really good. Um, yeah, I just never got, what have I, on my Switch, I've been playing... Uh, mostly Mario Kart 8. I still get into Odyssey a little bit. Uh, LGBT stands for Let's Get This Bread. That's pretty good. <laughs> that reminds me of the Wii U. The, the Miiverse. <laughs> I remember my friend got a Wii U. Um, and we we all got together and like played it together in a way and um we just went around looking at the meverse post and one of them was this very realistic drawing of a piece of toast sitting on a park bench with a like really nasty looking smirk on his face and a speech bubble saying butter me up baby <laughs> <laughs> the best part of uh the meverse stage mm -hmm. in uh super smash brothers Four, yeah is it was just all like it turned into just like sexy drawings of samus and bayonetta <laughs> and then um like just penises <laughs> yes love it did you get this influence board up here no i'm grabbing it Ugh. oh you, okay wait 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 a minute i forgot because we're in a convoy we have collision right oh okay we have to do this will we have Wait, to do you, this. Oh, you disappear with the with the pause will. menu. Will. 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 Uh... Will. 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 Are you will. changing cars? We have to do this. I need you to buy the tiny car. Okay? I don't know if I have enough for it. <gasps> Wait, where did I go? Oh, I'm under you. Am I under you? No, I'm getting my car. Where am I? Wait, Wait I'm in a tunnel. Yeah, I'm in a tunnel too. I think it spawned oh, us under the mountain. The train. I need you to get your tiniest car, and I need you to put it in the back of my truck. <gasps> this 
is a plan. Let's see if we can get this one, this Ferrari in there. Okay, I'm thinking, what if I put it here? Oh, yeah, let's do this. Is this, is this going to work? Oh, that's a good idea. Did, so, uh, Colton, does it just display, like, canned messages now? I don't know. I haven't been back. Oh, that's the other game uh, I got super into, like, a month ago month or two ago was uh super mario maker oh super mario maker is good i was having way too much fun with it and i was like this game immediately needs to come out on yep just drove right into you okay on how are we... switch I'm trying to okay, think you're... okay wait, wait wait a minute wait a minute there's a river bank down here so if we follow the river we we'll get to an area where there's like a mini cliff. You know what I mean? And yes. then I'll park against the cliff. And you drive off the cliff into the back of the truck. Does that work? That works. I'm going to change my car again. Okay. Oh, wait, I think. What about this bridge? Oh, well, let me see what cars I can buy. How do I know? Where do I go to buy cars? Oh, you got to go to the... Oh, I found it. Okay, yeah, you gotta go to the, the festival. Okay, let oh, me do. Oh, do I have to go to the festival? Yeah, but you can fast travel to the festival from your menu. Well, let me get. I'll you know I'll get my Ford Focus. Ford Focus. Yes. Um, Is not profanity. You're... Apparently, in France, that's how they pronounce Ford Focus. It's Ford Focus. Ford Focus. Okay. All right, I'm trying to find the perfect location. Oh, here Speaking we go. Of games I, I have not uh, had time to play. Yeah, I have the Crash Bandicoot trilogy remastered. Hi, Maggie. That I wanted to get into. Look, we have um, one viewer. That's not somebody we know. <laughs> it's me. In Where? The room. <laughs> <It's Maggie. laughs> okay. Whenever well, you're how, ready. Where did you go? How did I? How do I find you again? Okay, I'm gonna describe my location. I'm on the northwest side of the map. Yep. Let's just look at the map. So if you look at the the big Derwent water, on the oh west side of the gosh, map. It's explaining to me something that was explained to me two minutes ago. I'm on the northwest side of it in that town. I stopped speaking. Me? <laughs> it's not helping. Me? Yes. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Stop, game! I'm gonna kill you! Ugh. Hey, Google? What time is it? It's 11.33. Huh. It's not that late. It really isn't. I don't have work tomorrow. I have one day off a week. And, uh... Bad. Is that good or bad? It's very bad. Are you working... Well, you're getting paid, right? Uh, uh, yes. What? <laughs> uh, what? No, I am getting paid. Okay. I was just going to make a joke about how much money I should be making versus how much money I do make. You and me both, brah. <laughs> um, okay, are you coming? But... <gasps> yes, Jeez. I'm on my way. Okay. I'm going to get this little board this here. Is, this is perfect. So I think next level streaming we got to figure out next is having both of us our cams up uh, our next cam show oh i think we can do that via mixer but I then i kind of don't want to diversify our sub pixel brand across multiple i kind of like just having it as a youtube thing you know i don't know okay come here baby uh i hit a tree <laughs> I feel the urge to prove I don't know you somehow. Yeah, sure, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah, show me my birth certificate and I'll believe you. <laughs> oh, you're a genius. I know, right? I got lucky and found it. Okay. <laughs> I've been staring. Okay, I've been staring at the screen since you've been parked here. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I just now have figured out what this is. Okay, come on. Oh, wait. What? Is what? there a collision? 
Oh I'm no! Going full bore. Wait. Let okay. Me... Yeah, you gotta back up. You gotta. You gotta really nail it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's there, so dumb. There is. There's collision. Ow! 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 No! <laughs> Get away from me! Come here, baby. I'm gonna bully no. you. <laughs> oh, there's a tractor on the road. Ah! Uh. Man, oh man. Okay, wait, I want to show so you a car, Will. I need you to come here. So I can show you a car. Okay, you ready? Um, okay, I gotta do this quick so uh, nobody else sees it. Just a second, I'm in my menu. I need to know how... Mm hmm I want to know what love is. No, I would like to know if I can go inside my car. Uh, yeah, you can do, yeah, the, the right bumper. Right? Oh. Okay, now come look at my car. I wanna know what love is. <gasps> Yay. Do you see what it says? <laughs> Wait, does that say Viagra? <laughs> no, it says Vagisil. Medicated Oh, it cream. says Vagisil. I couldn't read it. I don't um, know why, but somebody... Somebody made this livery. Sorry, this car is awesome because it's just like my car and I can see it inside. Yeah. It's very cool. This one's like my car, but the issue is it's uh it's, it has the hard top on it. When it should be a soft top convertible. Uh what did he say? I found you guys from an ad on YouTube video I watched one oh, day. Yeah. Is that how YouTube ads work? Yeah, they'll pop up either on a video or oh, in the search dope. results. I think I may have had them on a video for a little while, but then I realized that's annoying, so I stopped. Oh, I that's so worked. great. That makes me very happy. Yes, we, um... Yes, we're very happy with what we're doing. All right, well, let's go hoon. Yeah, my buddy was like, how come you guys don't have more followers? And I was like, I mean, to be honest, we haven't, like, put effort towards marketing. Yeah, it's mostly because it just, like, most marketing just doesn't feel genuine. Yeah. You know? I don't like So, like, that. hearing something like that. Like, I like the YouTube ad stuff because it's our content. Yes. And it's, it feels it's a lot hands better. off in a way. It's like if people are searching for video games, they may see our ad, which is our content. We don't have to write ad copy. We just show our content. Yeah. Well, tell all your friends about it, Colton. Um, yeah, if you could tell Dad about it too, tell tell yeah. him I'll see him on Thursday. <laughs> In court. <laughs> oh, I don't know where you went, so I'm just driving. Okay, wait, I'm gonna come find you. We. Oh, I got some good air. I'm gonna get another joke car. Let's good. see. I think we're reaching the point where I'm gonna turn the latency down so that we can go through some of this menu funny stuff. Okay. I'm down okay. with that. It is really cold in my room, and I have no pants on. Wow. Um, I am wearing so my nice. hot pink underwear that has two cans all over it. It's my Kirby car. I have not seen your Kirby. Wait, come to me. Where are you? Oh. Let's see. I'm still. Ian, quick question. Uh, yes. Boxer briefs. Or boxers or briefs? Box, boxer briefs. Okay. Boxer briefs with hole in the front? You mean like intentional or? Yeah, intentional hole. Yeah. Like the flap? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. But I don't use that. So, oh, you don't? Interesting. Who, who, who goes through the gate? You go over the fence, not through the gate. Oh, I go through the gate. Really? Yeah. Doesn't that like complicate things? No, not at all. Are you sure? What are you talking about? You pull the zipper down, and then you then you oh, don't have to pull your underwear down. I know what it is. I don't fit through the gate. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, oh. all right. So I'm going to turn the latency down real quick. I don't like pulling my underwear down inside my pants. Oh, technical break. Pardon me. Sorry. Let's go to the point of contention in my life right now. Woo! 
oh, oh, waterfall, oh, waterfall, oh, waterfall, oh, waterfall. Hey, okay, you know, folks, waterfall. I've got to stop the stream real quick. We'll be right back. I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to change the latency settings. We'll be back. Bye-bye. <laughs>